this is so dangerous. <laughs> I'm sure all of you recognize this bike. The Stink E e-bike that I found on Facebook Marketplace, was fascinated by it, bought it. We've had loads of fun on this thing. My brother crashed it into an entire row of hedges. We've done, <laughs> We've done jumps on it, it's been incredible. It's actually been one of the central pieces of the channel, everyone loves it. Well. I've bought another one. And by the way, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to go online and build a website, that is the place to do it. And here it is. Oh my God, that looks sick. No, don't, don't, don't jump to any conclusions. You're going to love this that one. That looks brand new. <laughs> Mate. Oh my God. Check it out. How could I resist when it's a Marin with halo wheels, e-bike conversion, custom built. I bought it over the weekend, drove to North London, Met a lad who'd built it himself. He was really, really, really proud of it. Was he a scientist as well or not? He didn't know who I was, so it was like a quite a quick, easy transaction. He asked me what I'm planning to do with it, and I said I was going to take it straight up the woods, and I was really excited to ride it. It was hard to not laugh when I pushed down on the suspension, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact opposite build to the Stinky. Listen. How have two fork oh people God. made the fastest rebound of any British fork and the slowest rebound of any probably international <laughs> fork? It's also hard to miss the fact that with the battery being mounted on the down tube, oh the front wheel <gasps> crashes into the battery! <laughs> it's and it's melted! It's melted. I didn't notice that till oh I got it home. God. I'm so because I was really awkward, like, mate, this is an amazing bike, thank you so much. <laughs> like it was 1250 quid. I feel like I've gone in the deep end again. God. But um, I didn't want to like look over it too much. But that is ridiculous. It's so dangerous. Yeah. And the brakes are backwards. What? So I can, so I can swap them. Euro spec. But if you pull, if you brake, and that compresses, like look how easy oh. it is to get there. That's going to dive into the battery and you're going to go over the bars, brown bread dead. I think you put yourself in a tricky situation because now people are going to build these bikes knowing that you're going to search <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. I'm constantly <laughs> shopping. And the halo wheels was a touch. You've created the a whole shock, new market. The rear shock is <laughs> so bad. <laughs> it's got an R knob for race. Look at this. They've put the, some of the cassette rings behind the cassette. What the hell? So now it's got like a high range and a low range gearbox. Like a lorry. Does it work electrically? Is that... Ah, ah, didn't even want to, I didn't, forgot to even mention. Right, <laughs> you showed me how to do it. I didn't ride it either. The battery was on, I hope it's not dead. I didn't ride it either because he looked like I, he was worried I was going to just ride off down no. the road. Okay, because the other one had massive electrical problems. So it's got different levels of assist for the pedal assist, but the guy did tell me that you're not going to be using the pedal. <laughs> It's got, <laughs> mate, look at the bars. We're lucky, that was a good. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, you need to bolt check it. Wait, it's got a proper normal stem on top of triple clamps. <laughs> but what I was trying to tell you is, it's got a proper throttle. Twist the throttle. <laughs> I reckon it's fast. Get <laughs> that out, mate. <laughs> this thing's a beast! So, good. so I want to take it to Woburn. I love oh that. I love that the um, mud guards are matching. You know, they're just both rear mud guards. Also, oh. he was really stoked to tell me that it's good for night riding. Wow! Look how bright that is. Hey, that is actually blinding. It's so bright. It looks like such a good bike from the front. But then you reveal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the marine bike is great. It's everything around it that's just... Yeah, it needs a name. Wow. That bike is a Kona Stinky, so we call it the Stink E. This is the Marin East Peak. I mean, I'm a big fan of Marin. It's like the best bike company ever, but I don't think they ever imagined <laughs> years ago when they built this bike, this frame, which somewhat looks like a farm gate, actually. It does. That it someone does. was going to be strapping batteries to the bottom all those years ago. <laughs> I'm going to ride it. I'm only going to rev this thing out. <laughs> the battery's so dangerous! Like this! <laughs> the moment he's going to 
<laughs> if you go through bumps on this, you're gonna die. Oh, I'm so scared of the battery. I'm just gonna run away. Like <laughs> Let's take it in the workshop and see if we can pump the forks up. Or I could put a 20, like a BMX front wheel on it so we have more clearance. That's and I'm gonna swap the brakes. <laughs> it does work though. Mate. The other one used insane. to cut out, didn't it? We oh. are in business here with the so Marin. Good. What's the battery called? A Bafang. A ba <laughs> it's a Bafang, it's brand new. What? It's a Bafang conversion. <laughs> I'd say this whole thing is Bafang out of order, wouldn't you? <laughs> Before we take it to the bike park, like we did with the Stinky, for a proper review, I think we should go out onto a main road and do a top speed test. Because that was still pulling. <laughs> yeah, they were loose. It's lucky you launched it into a wall. 124 is not nothing. Although these things aren't engineered like Olin's, are they? No. <laughs> we get stand back. Hang on, we're at 200. Bizarrely, they're way firmer, but the rebound is exactly the level of damping is. <laughs> They must be full of... You need to take them to plunge. Where these pit poured water in there? Do you think? Are they Still almost going. better with less air in? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, they're going to go to 300. All right, I'm <laughs> just going to stop them. 300. <laughs> Way better. Let's see how fast this thing can go. I'm desperate. Let's get on a main road. How Mate. fast was that? Like 40, you, I miles was going 40. No, kilometers an hour. I put all my cars in uh, kilometers. <laughs> 40K? Yeah. What's that? I reckon it'll do 30 miles an hour then. 50, go 50K now. Oh, this could be a crash! Whoa! <laughs> Mate, I'm pretty sure I was following you going 57 then. Yeah, right I the got end. the dial working, it said 56. Wow. Let's go see how well it could jump and ride downhill. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know how I always wind up back here on bikes like this. <laughs> the Marin East Peak. It is pretty peak to be honest, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a name because it's such an insult to Marin. <laughs> if you like this. I think we should call it the Marin Salt. <laughs> Unless someone that can come up good. with a better one. But right now I think we've got the Stink E and the Marin Salt. That is very What do you think? Good. I like it, I like so, it. I like that name. Someone might come up with a better one. Talking of which, you can actually choose your domain name at the point of building your website with Squarespace. Then you can use the calendars features and book appointments in to do these catastrophic upgrades on people's old mountain bikes. If you wanted that to be your business. And there's a 14 day free trial if you sign up by hitting the link in my description below. And then you can save 10% off your first purchase, which could be that domain name. Like insult catastrophicbikeupgrades.com.org.uk. <laughs> I don't know what's on offer, but you can find out by signing up to Squarespace. Wish me luck. So good for climbing! <laughs> it's really powerful. Look. <laughs> That's way too no. Whoa! I mean electronically it's incredible. Mechanically, it's pretty awful. Here we go. I'm just gonna rev in. Rev into a jump line. I've never done this. Oh it's fast. Oh! Oh my god, you can throttle boost it! Whoa. Whoa. Yes, it works! You could gas downhill! Wow! The suspension's so bad! Oh, my chain's off. It's alright, it's an easy fix. Right, we're alright. Mate, it looks impossible to ride. Hang on, <laughs> 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 I 
good. Three more downhill. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I've never railed berms uphill. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's rapid. <laughs> It's rapid! <laughs> I'm definitely doing this drop. The headset's packing up. I think it might be the 300 pound square inch of pressure in the fork. <laughs> I really want to do this drop, but I'm just, the bike scares me. It's really dangerous, I think. Folds. <laughs> oh, it's so powerful! It smashed the cassette. No, no, no! You've killed it. You've killed it. You've actually just destroyed it. It's so powerful. It was a big drop. Hang on, we can fix this back in a few. <laughs> See? Mechanic Matt. Feel a mirror insult upgrade video coming along. <laughs> Do any brands out there that want to get involved? <laughs> Olin's. <laughs> All right, full run. Wish me luck. Yeah, boy. Whoa! Mirror insult. Oh, it's fast between the berms. Rapid. <laughs> on the takeoff. This is so dangerous. What a day out in the woods. Look at my cable length. Oh my God. It's wagging like a dog's tail. It, the battery hit the front tire on the takeoff and the buck was insane. I was like locked out, having to fight a crash. Well, I kind of signed up to it, didn't I? The Marin Salt has never known such an exploration, has it? I love it. Well, let's do some upgrades. We need a bash guard on the front and a chain guide. Brand new. We need a new cassette because it's so powerful it munched it. Kind of like the mud guards. Forks, we need to do something about this and then we're in business. The rear shock's good enough with its 40 mil of travel. <laughs> Let's upgrade this thing and go bigger because it's so sick uphill. Watch this space for the new Resto Mod series. <laughs> the e-bike Resto Mod series. And by the way, the new trail jackets are dropping September 29th. These have been unavailable for three years. We still see them on the trails from three years ago. The last time we dropped them, they sold out in four minutes and they're back and they're epic. Legends. <laughs>